So this is the uh, second part of chapter three, smash analysis. Mesh is defined as a loop that does not contain any other loops in it. So this circuit, for example, has an outer loop that's not a mesh. The loop including the seven volts, or the minus seven, two K, five K, three volts, six and one. This is a loop, but it's not a mesh. This is one mesh, and this is another mesh. To do mesh analysis, I wrote a how-to, and I will go shortly through it. But uh, first, I'd like to say that you will eventually find um, that you need to define the current through a resistor as a function of the mesh currents. So the mesh currents are currents that go through the outer part here, but go around. So eventually, when we define these in our loops here, which are really meshes. You're going to have a resistor in the middle of the two meshes that um, happens to be like this, with a current on this side and a current on this side. And assuming that I'm going to use my green marker to say that my current is going down through the resistor. So I would like, you can define the current however you want. The current's going down. This current here through the resistor is going to be IR. You can find it easily by saying by subtracting the current that's in the same direction as this one, L1, minus L2. So L2 is going up. So for example, if we have 5 milliamps on L1 and 1 milliamp on L2, it would be 5 milli minus 1 milli. And the current through the resistor would be 4 milliamps in this direction. Now let's say that we define the current on the resistor going up. And again, we have 5 milli here and 1 milli here. The current through the resistor in this case would be L4 minus L3. Ah! Minus L3. The reason being my current on this resistor, on the red resistor, is going up. So I'm getting this current here, this loop current, or mesh current, and subtracting by the mesh current that's going in the opposite direction. So IR will be 1 milli minus 5 milli, which is minus 4 milliamps. I realize this is confusing. We're going to do this again a couple times in circuits. But this is possibly the, the hardest part of, of mesh analysis. So, back here, 